sure that the reason that Her Majesty never looks me up when she visits is I buggered up so many of her aircraft. <laughs> uh, I damaged two tiger moths when I was uh, instructing, and uh, on the checkout ride with Sandy McGruther, uh, when he was going to check me out on the B-25, uh, we lost uh, hydraulics and we belly landed at the airport. So that was number one, which I was just co-pilot cool on that one. Uh, number two was uh, we were coming out of, we'd done a joint exercise with the Army in, uh, Van in, in Vancouver. And uh, we were coming back the south route when we lost the starboard engine, uh, another fuel line. And unfortunately, it ran away. So we had a full load of about 10 people. And uh, we actually had that first door up in the navigator's compartment, and we were hooking up everybody to parachutes. When we d descended below the cloud, and Betty's husband, that m was my radio officer, and he spotted a green patch back in the middle of these mountains. So we whipped around, and from 10,000 feet in, we just put down a flap and went straight in not knowing it was Hope Airport. Uh, and uh, the, the machine was really shaking. It was vibrating, it, the prop would run away, and uh, so we had to get on the ground quickly. So that was number two. Uh, number three, we'd been to a great cup in Toronto, and we refueled in Winnipeg, and uh, we ran into freezing rain on takeoff in Winnipeg, and uh, it stalled, and the hydraulic jacks to the undercarriage were forced up th through the wing. We diverted to rivers, which is also a sheet of ice, and we uh, belly landed there. So that was the three of them there. Yeah. So I'm still waiting for my German Iron Cross. <laughs> and no injuries in any of those? The navigator in uh, Hope was a fellow named Jack Peach, and uh, he wrenched his back. Uh, he, uh, you know, he'd had wartime experience, and that was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. As a matter of fact, it was on the, the one with Sandy McGruder going into the snowbank in Edmonton. His wife put her foot down, and that was the end of <laughs> Sandy's uh, flying with 418. Speaking of wives, what did your wife say about three crashes? Uh, the first one, I tried to hide the, hide the newspaper, uh, and uh, a guy called Ed Monigal, who was taking medicine, it comes over with another copy and says, look at you, you know, well, that didn't go over well with my wife, but uh, <laughs> I'm sure she wasn't uh, too upset when I stepped down.